about the Aepa. Well, I'll tell you a story about the Aepa. Okay. There's several I could pick from, but I'm going to pick one from the Big Island. Gives me a chance to teach something. The on the Big Island, there was a king or a high chief lived in the valley of Waipio. And he was famous because he had a very special trumpet, just like the one, and I'll bring it up back again for the movie here, a trumpet like this. This is called a triton. Okay. Not sure whether it's a noble triton or not, but it's a triton. And so he had this famous triton. It, it had a... a lashings that would that would hold it together so it could be carried and it had a special basket that it was carried in and he was very proud of this trumpet but one night some mischievous Eepa snuck into his compound and stole this famous trumpet and uh, that was bad enough but then but says Waipia is a valley let's say with a waterfall here at the, at the inland, far inland end, very narrow, then it comes out with these huge cliffs, very, very tall, all the way out to the ocean. It's got a black sand beach. Today it's got a lot of taro patches, but it's an old jungle and probably in the ancient times had taro patches too. Uh, but um, it's a very dramatic area. But what the Aepa did was at night, all night long, they would flit along the edge of the cliffs, blowing the trumpet, keeping everybody awake all night long. And the king sent warriors after them to try and catch them, and he couldn't catch them. He, this went on for a long time. I'm going to shorten the story. Um, until finally, somebody told him about a master dog thief. A lot of Hawaiian tales, if you, you have a thief uh, who also has magic, uh, often it's in the form of a dog. Well, this was a, a, fa a famous dog who was also a master thief. And the king called for the dog and says, Oh, no, no, I know what you want with me. You want to arrest me. You want to sacrifice me. No, no way. And so the king finally offered him amnesty, uh, which they did in those days too. If the dog would come down, learn about the task and do this task for the king. So the dog finally did come down with lots of promises and he was told and he laughed and he said, that's easy because the king wanted him to steal back the trumpet from the Eepa. So the dog went out one night uh, up into the hills, up into the mountains where the Eepa lived. Now the Eepa lived in a pa. Uh, the Maori still use this term. It means fortress. And there used to be a few of them here in the Hawaii, but not so many. Anyway, they lived in this fortress up on the cliff plateau. And so he snuck up there and it was real, really high. You know, some of the walls of some of the old temple sites here on these islands are 40 feet high. What we see now are almost all just the ruins that are just a few feet high. Some of them were very high. Well, this was a very high pod. This was a very high fortress. So here comes the dog in his dog form up to the side of this huge wall and he says the magic words he au nui and he grows up into this huge giant steps over the wall bends down picks up the trumpet in his paws steps back out over and says he au iki and comes back down to his regular size Good thing he knew those magic words. He goes back down, presents the trumpet to the king. The king thanks him and gave him all kinds of prizes and told him, stay out of my kingdom. And we know the story is true because this trumpet is at the Bishop Museum. And you can see it if you go over there. So uh, well, here's, the, here's the teaching. What did, were the magic words that the dog said? Because okay? people spend so much time and effort trying to find the magic words that will make things happen. You know? 
and books and books have been written on it and people study it and they practice the words and uh, they say, well, it didn't have, do, work right, so I must have said the words wrong or bad pronunciation or bad spelling and, and they go and do more research. What the dog said was, I am big. And then he grew and he stepped over the wall, came back, and then he said, I am small. And then he got done. Those were the magic words. If you read magic words in the Hawaiian stories, they're simply the intention of the person speaking them. If you're powerful enough in your intent, then maybe you know what interchanges to make then you can manifest what you want. It's not the words themselves. They only serve to keep your mind on the intent. They don't do the changing. The change always comes from within.